is she there? Hey everybody, welcome back for episode 4 of Arcane. I am super excited for this, and for reference, it is, it is almost midnight, and I don't ever record videos this late because I don't like being loud at this time, but it is literally... It was, it was yesterday that I watched the other episodes and I, it was so good and I didn't want to wait anymore. I need to know what happens because I feel like this episode is going to be a major shift for how things kind of happen because obviously we've seen several main characters um, cease to exist and the way that there's only so many ways that this can go. So I'm really excited to see what happens and I didn't want to wait any longer. If you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you can come back and watch the rest of the episodes along with me or check out some of the other series that we've got going on. Thank you to all the patrons for the support. I appreciate it tremendously and I hope you guys are enjoying the unedited reactions. And without anything else, let's go ahead and watch episode four. I'm glad that I kind of give myself a day before I watch the next episode because I genuinely needed the like... To see you, Professor. Ah, come in, Jace. I needed the Can time to reset. It? Our city is about to turn 200 years old. A is he going to be all for the the magic it's now? Shaping up to be an amazing progress day. I wonder how much Stand time has passed though too, like huh. like anything could down. happen. Everything he built either exploded, melted or toppled over. And yet here Although he was dads. talking about bicentennial, so it could have been a Stand bunch of years. Personal ambitions aside, and focused on something far more important. When did you give the Progress Day speech this year? But so now all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden he's the good guy, and now they want to reward him. Have done wonders for our city. Brought scholars from distant lands. Oh, so a bunch of time has passed. You deserve this honor. I don't know how much time is. I don't know what the original time frame was. I will do my best to make Piltover proud, Professor. Oh it's man. Notice, I know, but it's gonna be really interesting to see if Powder does turn into share. Jinx, though. Which love I mean, deal. she she called her Jinx, I so. The next chapter of Hextech. Come to the lab this afternoon. I'll show you. Also, Hextech sounds like an evil you corporation. Something to live up to, my boy. That looks really pretty. I can only imagine that the. Under what was that? The underground is not gonna look not even close to as prosperous, right? The music is it's so good, it sets the tone so well. So, it has been many years. I mean, they've learned how to use the magic and everything. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't catch like any time frame though. I, I. I'm gonna have to go back and see if it did ever mention one, but I don't I don't remember them ever saying like a year or anything like that. I love like the style of everyone too, like the way that they dress and everything. A beacon of trade and prosperity for our great city of Brooklyn. I love how he went from literally about to be banished from everything to here is our hero. This is all because of him. Serves you right. Is that the uh, is that the assistant or the? Uh, I'm working. Oh, I can see that. The girl with the umbrella. So crime to throw right? outside your family's tent. <laughs> you can only imagine the strings she pulled to have me posted here. Man, and if some time has passed, we're probably gonna see like an army of the the serum boys. I'd be really surprised if we didn't see some sort of. There's gonna be a war. There's gonna be a war. I also recognize that when I say war, it almost kind of sounds like whore. I'm not. War. W. A. R. Or W. A. R. Yeah. Yeah, not. Yeah. Okay. Shipping manifest from so the that's the serum. Downtown. Those are the bad guys. Uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna see powder aren't we? I don't think I'm emotionally ready for that. There's no I'm not emotionally ready. I'm so, my heart is like racing because I don't know. <sighs> oh yeah, there you go. I mean, what do they think is down there? She's here. Who's she? Who's she? Oh my god. It is. It is. We had a time, we had a significant time jump, and now she's Jinx, and I am not okay. She's about to tear it up. It's so, like, it's so sad. I wonder if she's, like, good at fighting now because of what happened, or if she would have grown up eventually to have filled that role. So well done, though, and the music too. Wow, I love the like purpleness, though, like the purple everywhere. You are supposed to guard the cargo. I mean, she kind of did. <laughs> We just need to show them it's safe. Wow. So they like actually were what about the partners and they worked it out and there was no the like they asked. ulterior the motives. Excuse, like they asked. It's our turn to decide the future of Hextech. He looks very sickly, which makes me believe magical energy something is going to change in his mind. Shops. And he's not Hextech going to continue being a good person. The life of the common man. And now it finally can. A Hextech gemstone. Whoa, whoa, wait! <laughs> that thing is adorable. Holy sprockets! <laughs> we found a means to fortify the crystals. The gemstone can power virtually anything. That's pretty sick. That's really neat. I mean, there's definitely got to be a drawback or something, right? I mean... The Atlas Gauntlets. The mining colonies and the fishers can work faster and without fatigue. I want Hextech to be a tool for us to build a new world. And now, it's finally possible. <laughs> a, little, a little heck up. There's just a little bit of a heck up there. This is our presentation. This is incredible. What amazing, gentlemen. 
You should be very proud. I really Obviously, there are a few kinks to iron uh. out and screws to be tightened, but give it a decade of careful research and it will be ready. A dec decade? Oh, don't worry, my boy. It zips past you in the blink of an eye. With respect, Professor, we can be improving lives with Hextech now. A breakthrough like this takes time, Victor. Putting that he still doesn't trust them at all. Dangerous. Keep at it, and I'm sure you will discover a way to save. Uh, he's not. He's not. Misuse. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. You're from the Undercity. I didn't do anything. She's crazy. Easy. She shot me. Who shot you? Who were you working for? I can't. He'll kill me. Who? You look like you're gonna die anyway. I can protect you. Caitlin Kiriman. Why does that not surprise me? Interfering in an investigation again. You're supposed to be guarding your mother's tent. I was sheriff, but she doesn't need it, and clearly this takes priority. I realize you're used to getting your way, Kiriman, but we have a chance to man for a reason. I understand, but there's more going on here than just the smuggling. If I could just question him, I'll I could... take it from here. Since you're looking for more work, you can take the graveyard shift tonight at the fair. Yes, sir. Good. I want this one on a boat. I don't to think that's really person. what she wanted. Yes, sir. She fired on us. There are always mishaps in battle. <laughs> the firelights were. She's tattling. And most are dead. <laughs> she's just a tattletale. A she froze up and lost her shit. I could have handled those brats. She's a problem, and we all know it. We. That's what they had said too. Yes, we. I expect better from you than excuses. It was your job to make sure things went smoothly. You failed. Don't disappoint me again. The topsiders are leaving us further and further behind. What happened? Oh, she told you. Up there? The whole time. I'm asking you. One of those firelight wackos was a girl. With okay. So it was not her. Your sister's gone. You know that as well as I do. I know. I know. Sisters, right? You can't live with them, can't stuff them back in the old baby maker. <laughs> Today's screw up will set us back weeks. Savika will clean up today's mess. Savika? That ogre couldn't clean a dust bunny with a blowtorch. Hmm. She will suffice. You should focus on your gadgetry. <sighs> Take some time. I, I, I don't need time. Take it anyhow. <laughs> she definitely needs the time. 100% needs the time. Yeah, I don't know. The way that she was, like, kind of on him was not, like... This didn't really seem like father-daughter kind of vibes. And I hate that I had to, like, put it out there. But if that's, like, not the vibe here, then good Jesus Christ. Tired of mingling? Mm. These people have nothing new to offer me. The only one actually worth my time is him. Chase? The golden yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's one Piltover's heart. Man of progress. Speak of the devil. Man, I can't believe how, like, quick, though. Like, how quick they were to turn around and be on his side all of a sudden. And now he is, you know, a hero. Can I borrow you for a minute? And it's basically because of her, too. Because without her help, they would have they would have been caught, and he would have been unalived. I think. Heimerdinger is a great scientist, but he's old. He only ever sees the past. Piltover needs a leader who looks forward. Someone like you. You really believe that? Is she suggesting that he replace him? Everything. The world is ready. I've already spoken to several potential investors. Investors. Of course. 
<laughs> Everyone wants Hextech for themselves. It's your speech. Give the people a glimpse of the future. It's gonna be a very dangerous game he's playing. That is for sure. It wasn't her. It was not. Okay. So like we can it wasn't. for sure at this point confirm. I know just just some wannabe street trash. I got confused, that's all. Now he thinks I'm weak. Savika will clean it up. Savika's is that Johnny on the spot. Oh my god. I'm not weak. <laughs> and he is sick as can be. Cause Where he's he's not gonna want to wait. I could do the address. You should come up with me. We're partners. No, no, I, not in front of all of them. You have your speech prepared? Uh -huh. Oh, I am so happy that they've actually like done this together, and that he's still like, you know, including him in everything. It makes me so happy. Imagine if we treated scientists like this. <laughs> uh. Yeah, something, some explosions, some, some little bad no-nos is about to happen for sure. We've been happy for too long at this point. I do love that he also just genuinely wants to help people. people. In our factory, we made hammers. They were probably used to cut the stones you're standing on right now. No one in my life expected very much of me. And that is precisely what makes this moment so extraordinary. We're not done yet. He's gonna show it? He has to show it. He has to show it. This year, we've created something new for you. He is not something impressed. Like um, Come on. That we Come on. will share with you when the time is right. Oh. Things that will bring no. an end to your hardship. We vow to keep pressing forward, for we are the city of progress, and our future is bright. He played it off super well, but I don't think his partner is going to appreciate. There's no way that he's getting because I think I think what's going to happen is that he's so sick that he's going to possibly die soon. Oh wow! Possibly die soon, and I think that he's going to want to see that happen, and he's going to do something with it. That has to be how this goes. What are you even doing here, Kiraman? Don't you have a cocktail party to attend? <laughs> Why is everybody so mean? <laughs> Fire! Get the fire brigade! Just a casual fire. Everything here. Oh my god. Everything in this looks like it's made out of metal, so I don't know what is, like, really here on fire, but... <laughs> oh, no. Get out! Now! Also, I brought this dynamite. Goodbye! Yeah. Is she gonna be down there? Wow. The gemstone is gone, along with some of our research papers. Who? The situation is still developing. No one in the Undercity has claimed responsibility yet. How did it come to this? Did she take it too? 
For too long has the underground been left unchecked. We've lost touch. They may not be your preferred constituents, but they're still our people. Mr. Talos, if they treated them better, with the stolen crystal? Shimmer, things would probably be better. We've seen their ingenuity over the years, of course. He's still can. got that toy, Jesus Christ. <laughs> if the right person got a hold of it, it's possible. It was literally made for a child. We need to address this immediately. I have come before you to recommend that we suspend all Hextech operations until the situation is resolved. Including our laboratories, the refinery, and the Hex Gates. Have you lost your oh, mind? Wow. The Hex Gates must remain open. Piltover status as a global shipping lane depends on it. Thousands would lose their income. But shouldn't the safety of Piltover be our first priority? You would sacrifice he's... your life's work without the yes. Hex Gates. Yes, he's a good person. He's a genuinely good down. person. Am I to tell the Noxians their next shipment of wine will be vinegar? Counselors, Mr. Talus has demonstrated his commitment to our safety. He's willing to sacrifice his own enterprise. And it seems to me only I Mr. Talus has the knowledge necessary to secure the Don't like exits. where this is going to go. I propose that a new chair be brought forth and that House Talus oh. be elevated to this august body. What? As a counselor, he will have the resources necessary to protect all our investments. Counselor Murdarda. This huh. is highly irregular. The council has held seven seats for generations. Does the boy have any experience? Only that of a scientist, like Heimerdinger. Huh. Unless he's gonna, like, resign and then he takes his place? I believe Councillor Medarda is right. Hex Tech Security should be administered by a scientist. I second the motion. Well, okay, then. so he's not gonna retire. Okay. He has he does not want anything to do with this at all. He did not sign up for that. And doesn't want it. I'm so curious about what's gonna happen with his partner though, because it seems like he's just he seems like he's along for the ride still. Oh, he's pissed. Half a dozen enforcers dead. Enforcers dead. Yeah. A building blown to pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you've done? Actually, I do. She did take it. Wow. The detail, like the detail on her nails too. Like all the details in this is just insane. Man. There's, that doll is so sad. I think whoever attacked the square is our suspect. The same symbols showed up at the botched smuggling operation at the Hex Gates. The Hex Gates? Keep up. All this time, they've kept their dealings localized to the Undercity. Low priority. The attack on the square changes things. They've overstepped. If I can figure out who made this, it could lead me directly to whoever's behind it all. They did definitely overstep. That is me in the face. That is for sure. I can feel it. <laughs> How do you intend to prove any of this? If I can just work this out, Marcus will have to listen. Yeah, there's one thing I've learned about the council. They need more than just theories. Since when did you concern yourself with the council's opinion? <laughs> Literally never. Since I became a counselor. <laughs> oh, they did do it! You're serious? When? They actually oh. did it. Have they discovered how to go wow. to Greece in a spanner? Ha ha. I was actually hoping you might consider... So I wonder if that means, like, is he going to have time to do everything that he's been doing? Or is now the partner... That's gonna take over all of that. Position. I'd live behind a desk. You almost died, Kate. I just, I just want you to be safe. I don't know how he expected that to go. She's very clearly passionate about what she does. There was no good way that that was gonna go. No shot, dude. You don't understand. I have to talk to him. 
Oh, you'll be able to as soon as he can move his jaw again. Who assaulted him? Uh, is he gonna talk though? Is that? Why is she there? Oh my god. Who the hell are you? Of course it had to end there. It had to. What else? When else? When it was... Okay, so that was definitely, of, of all, I think, four episodes now that we've seen, I think that that was the, the slowest of them, maybe? Obviously things happened. We had a time skip, which, give or take, about 10 years, it seemed like, so... In hindsight, that makes sense that they would have done that. Again, I've said it so many times at this point, but it makes sense that we're skipping time and we're kind of like hitting these points really quick because there's only so many episodes in this first season and whether it's just a season or it's gonna be an ongoing thing, I don't know yet. Again, I still haven't looked at anything, so it's gonna be really interesting to see, but I love seeing how Jace is now a part of the council, so that'll be a really new interesting element that's gonna play into Probably a lot, and then it'll be interesting. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with how the partner is going to end out. I, I don't know why. I think it's just because I feel bad that he looks like he's literally going to die any second now. And also just like he was always kind of like cast aside for his life. So it'll be interesting to see if he maybe gets his moment in the, in the sun before he, you know, ultimately uh, dies because I really I, I don't know dude the guy just looks like he's ready to keel over and then of course you have the relationship between I don't know how I don't know I think it's Victor I don't know how I don't know his name for sure probably because I've just binged everything but Victor and Jinx and it, it I'm uncomfortable because I don't know still what kind of situation that's gonna be and I'm sure I'm just being an idiot for thinking it's gonna be anything weird but it was just, it was a weird, it was just a weird scene. It was a very weird situation, but I'm excited to see how all this is going to play out. I am super excited to watch the next episode, but until that happens, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. And to all the patrons, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it tremendously. And until next week, I'll see you in the next one.